53 ABC's Mark Christian joins us now live in the studio about the story and what the families are saying. Mark. That's right, Troy. As the family has heard the news about the deputies' charges, many of them were filled with mixed emotions. Both families say their lives are forever changed. Trying to go back to normal, if that's possible. They've waited 10 months to hear the charges of the man who took their loved ones away. It's a sad situation all the way around. Daniel Hiller left behind his fiance and their son. Well, it's hard. It's hard um, watching the little boys grow up without their dad and my sister um, without her husband. Tiffany is holding Caleb, Daniel's little boy, in her lap. She would have been Daniel's sister in law, but the fatal accident took those dreams and his plans away. Even if the counts do go through, I don't think six years is anything compared to like forever, you know? And for the two families whose lives will never be the same, they say this does bring a little bit of closure, but not the justice they were hoping for. If you or I hit someone and it was gross negligence, I can understand with giving us maybe that term, but he was a sheriff on duty. He should know his job a whole lot more than the regular person. Crystal Jolly leaves behind three children. Her family says the deputy responsible for her death should receive more than the charges he was given and be held to a higher accountability. He killed two people. And I understand it was an accident. Um, he should get all the time in the world to sit and think. Now, both families say now all they can do is sit and wait to see how that justice system plays out. In studio, Mark Christian, 23, ABC.